Question number 49, very simple problem of straight line and many student would have solved it earlier. A straight line is there passing through fixed point 2 comma 3. This is say 2 comma 3 and it is intersecting coordinate axis at P and Q. O is origin and a rectangle is completed O P R Q. So, R will be somewhere here, this is point R and we have to find the locus of R. Let us consider R as H comma K. So, the coordinate of P will be H comma 0 and Q will be 0 comma K. If I write the equation of line PQ, in intersect form it will be X by H plus Y by K equals to 1. As the line is passing through 2 comma 3, it will satisfy the point. So, it is 2 by h plus 3 by k equals to 1. This is the relation between h and k. To find the locus, I will generalize it replacing h by x and k by y. This gives us the locus. I am writing it as 3x plus 2y equals to xy. So, the correct option will be 2. The answer is 2. Question number 50. ये एक अच्छा सवाल है और ऐसा सवाल J मेंस में पहले भी आ चुका है हम जानते हैं इसमें हमसे कहा गया है b minus 2a b minus 2a में b is sum of first 40 terms जिसे हम लिख सकते हैं summation tr r is from 1 to 40 minus capital A is sum of first 20 terms so tr r is from 1 to 20 now, first 20 term of this expression will be cancelled from this part. We will have r equals to 21 to 40 minus sum of first 20 terms. Now, I will write it as it is given as 100 lambda. So, 100 lambda is equals to, I am writing first 20, uh, these 20 terms. The terms will start from 21 square, 21 square then plus 2 times 22 square, 23 square, 2 times 24 square and so on up to 2 into 60 square. 40 terms are there that is why it is 40 square. Then minus the first 20 term is 1 square plus 2 into 2 square, then 3 square, 2 into 4 square and so on up to 2 into 20 square. I hope you are getting my point. What I am trying to do is, I will calculate them pairwise. a square minus b square, a square minus b square in every term. This gives us 20 into 22. We will take two common then it is 20 into 24, 20 into 26, 2 into 20 into 28 and so on. So, I will take 20 common. In this pair, I will have 22. In this pair, I will have 2 into 24. In this pair, 26 and 2 into 28 and so on. At last, we will have 2 into 60. Now, we will split this sequence this way as sum of two arithmetic progressions. I am taking only one term, twice 28 are there, I will consider only 128 and this way I will complete the series up to 60 plus the remaining terms 24, 28, up to 60. So, these are two arithmetic progressions. We will calculate their sum. 20 multiplied by, these are 20 terms. So, n by 2, first term plus last term. Again, n by 2, first term plus last term. Half is common and 10 is common. So, it is 100 outside, 
we have taken 5 as the common factor. What is left here is 22 plus 60 is 82 and 2 into 82 plus 84. This gives us 164 plus 84. 100 multiplied by 164 plus 84, which is 100 into 248. If we compare it with 100 lambda, a lambda is 248. So, the correct option will be 1. Answer is 1.